Hi, Ukulele Mike here. Once again with another installment in my Play It Mellow Jazz Chording Progressions. This is a song I'm just calling it Morning and Springtime. Beautiful day here in actually August, but it feels like a spring morning. It's uh, kind of coolish, but the sun's out. Beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest. But th the purpose of these uh, little lessons and these progressions is to help us build our jazz chording skills using the major sevenths, the minor sevenths, the minor sixths, the diminished chords, the the plus five chords, uh, diminished, I said diminished, uh, diminished chords, augmented chords, uh, all of the, the jazz chords that make jazz chords so, so rich and, and beautiful to play. These don't require any melody, or I should say no singing. There's no words to these, no lyrics. They're just simple progressions and I've tried to kind of blend a nice uh, melodic figure that rides on top of the chords so it becomes like a piece, a composition. So this one morning in springtime, it's in the key of F. And I've actually done three versions of it, one with just half notes. So I play like one, two, one, two, two, actually two quarter notes there. And quarter note and a dotted half actually. And then the second version I've, I've done is in a 4-4 arpeggio. And I'll explain that a little bit later. The third one is done with a rhythmic feel, a little more upbeat kind of feel. So you got three different ways of taking those chords. Now you can go well beyond that. Now, use your own uh, ideas and, and work with these chords. Make up your own rhythms. You know, it's, it's free form. It's free form all the way through. And once again, it's all done with just the thumb. I'm just using the thumb. If, and when I'm doing the strumming, if you want to use your index finger, that's fine too. Um, so we're going to have three different uh, rhythmic uh, treatments of the same chord progression. And here's the progression with eighth notes in an arpeggio pattern. And you can do other arpeggios. This is just one that I've configured for this. But make up your own as much as you want. You can do it in sixteenth note, a double the, the notes. Now, in regards to the eighth note arpeggio pattern, what I'm doing with that is I'm putting my starting with my thumb on the fourth string. The index finger always plays the second string, and the middle finger always plays the first string. The thumb alternates between the fourth and the third. So on the very first eighth note, I take the thumb, index, and middle finger and just I do that. It's like a little pinch chord. A little roll actually. So I thumb, index, middle. That's on an F chord with the little pinky up on the third fret. So it's then I simply play three, two, one. There's the whole pattern. So it goes roll. Three, two, one. Then I go to my next chord. Three, two, one. Then three, two, one. And then here I pinch, pinch, pinch. And there the four thumbs on the fourth string. Then I go back to the arpeggio. Then. Then I go F. Now my little pinky is on the, what is that? That's the seventh, eighth fret. I go all the way up to the twelfth fret. Then, and the last chord is just a rolled chord. And that's how I'm doing the arpeggio. Now, like I say, you can break that up into sixteenth notes, or you can create a different arpeggio if you can go.
In that case, I'm just strumming once, strum, and then I'm arpeggioing with a thumb, I'm not using any fingers at all in that in that regard. So. And if you want to, to kind of enlarge the piece a bit, you could do it in all three versions. You could start with the half note version, then repeat it in the arpeggio version, for eighth note arpeggio, and then finish up with the rhythmic one. So you've it, it's created a little piece, a little longer extended piece called Morning and Springtime. And last but not least, here is a rhythmic, more up-tempo, jazzy feel of the very same progression. <laughs> 